Here's Sophia Pepper's wraps up her career here at semis at State. Just turnovers kind of killed you guys in the third quarter. It's a team you obviously can't afford to do that against. But just how about this era for you as a player? You're going to be here four times. And that's hard to say goodbye. But. Yeah, um, being here four, four times leaves me speechless, like I've told everyone. Um, a lot of girls don't experience more time. So, I mean, getting to the semifinals three years out of the four years, is, it shows that we've worked hard, but we, <laughs> I don't know what our deal is. We just can't finish, and I just wish we knew what we could fix to make sure that we finish next time. Are the, uh, the tears, because you lost, because it's over, Combination to me, this is how special this has been for um, to have a come to an end so abruptly. It's an awesome experience. Um, I've built a lot of friendships with my teammates. Um, we're a tight group. I mean, we're a bunch of girls that love to be around each other. Um, I've built a lot of friendships. They've taught me stuff. I've taught them stuff. So leaving a program like this is just it's heartbreaking. So yeah, tears were about to tears were coming just because it's hard to leave a program like this. What about the sense of pride though? And I realized that you had sisters who won titles, but. Four in a row is pretty unprecedented, and the expectation level it's this, in this program now is pretty high. That those sophomores are where they're going to try to live up to. Yeah. So just the sense of pride to be able to to build the, the foundation of one of the strongest teams in Class 1A. Yeah, um, going four years, I hope the younger girls realize how much work it, you have to put in to get here. Um, they're going to want to know that they need to work hard and continue to build on the, like this success. And I just hope that they realize it's not an easy place to get to and they just need to step up and take charge. Good to feel like, though, you guys were mentally, the approach was good. You started off pretty well. I didn't feel like the moment was too big for anybody. No, their defense is unbelievable. Um, they were making me, they weren't letting me get the ball, so it was just hard for the younger girls to step up. And I told them that at halftime that I'm getting guarded pretty hard, so they need to take charge and stuff. But, I mean, they're a good defensive team. We just can't, we can't make the careless turnovers like we did. What sort of legacy do you hope you leave behind or example you've left um, I just hope that I'm the type of person that they look up to and like want to work as hard and get to the spot that I'm in. Uh, I hope that they want to make it four years like I did. I just, I hope I'm leaving the program with the success for them to continue. So tell us a good Keely story. She's so quiet and doesn't let us into her personality much and yes. Coach calls her the silent assassin. What's kind of your favorite memory of, of her? And you guys um, are kind of the dynamic duo. Yeah. Um, it's going to break my heart going to go play basketball without her. Um, we've been playing together since fifth grade and she, we've, she has really grown out of her shell. If you would have seen her freshman year, senior year, you, it, you, have you guys ever seen Pitch Perfect? Yeah. The little Chinese lady that's like, <laughs> <laughs> that's what we call Keely all the time. <laughs> so we just make a lot of jokes about her. Um, I'm going to miss her dearly. And so is the Spartan program, but I think, yeah, I don't know. She's just, she's fun to be around. She's funny. She's very quiet and she can get the job done when needed. Thanks a lot, Sophia. Thank you.